One, two, three. It's Just showtime. Raise the roof. Okay. <laughs> Keep that in. All right. <laughs> Jake, I got a haircut today. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Both I, of our hairs are getting long. Yeah. So good for you for getting a haircut. I don't know. I, I I got one. I've had one haircut since quarantine all stuff hit. And I, don't, I think I talked about it on the podcast because that's how interesting my life is. Um, but I got a new one today and it was at a new place. I've never been before. Not the... Not Bill. Hey, Brad. How are you, buddy? No, I decided there's another place that looks kind of interesting to me uh, that's not very far from my house on Merriam, Merriam Drive. And I was like, I'm going to try out Marv's. So I went to Marv's today. You, um, you better hope Bill does not listen to the podcast. He's going to be upset <laughs> that you're cheating on him. Bill, I'm going to be honest. You you charge too much, dude. Bill, <laughs> Bill charges 25 bones. Whoa. And I mean, you you have to... How much to, is that in dollars? Oh, that's dollars. Bones is colloquialism. Oh, it's dollars. one-to-one. Got yeah, it. one-to-one. Got it, got bones, it. bones to bucks. Okay. To dollars. All like colon, colon, colon. <laughs> um, and anyway, Marv's was awesome. Love Marv. Yeah. 75 year old man. I don't think I'm ever going to go to like a normal, uh, like barber. I, I want to always go to an old, old school barber, like somebody that's been doing it forever. That's just a good dude that has like, he's not in any hurry. Yeah. You know, he's just like, come on in whenever you want. Sure. You know, he's excited. He's going to be there by 8 a.m. Even if he doesn't have to be every morning, you know, just an exciting guy. So I think it should be a yeah prerequisite. Like I will only go to barbers who their name is the name of the barber shop. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Th- that helps a lot. Marv's. Marv's. And it was literally... Yeah, it just has Marv's on there and it has a barber, like one of those poles, barber pole. First guy you see you walk in, Marv. Marv, there he is. What'd you guys talk about? That's what I was going to yeah <laughs> say. So Marv's 75 years old, been cutting hair for 52 years, he told me. It's plenty. 42 in this location at Marv's. Um, and uh, he's like, now what do you do? And I said, well, I have my own business. I'm a woodworker. I'm also a part of the best co- podcast in Kansas. No, I didn't say that, but um, <laughs> it's implied. I said, I'm a woodworker. And he's like, you're kidding. He's like, I got a funny, funny story about woodworking. And I was like, great. This guy's 75 years old. He <laughs> talks to people basically for a living. I mean, he, he obviously cuts hair, but he's talking to people. all He's the time. more of a podcaster than you are. Yeah. I'm like, wonderful. I would love to hear this. Whole, like, I'm like, this is going to be great for the podcast. <laughs> he goes, I was in high school. I had to make a sanding block plane. That was my project one, one time of woodworking. And I just could never get that thing square. That was the end of the funny story. <laughs> Marv. I was like, I was like, that's it. <laughs> that was, I was expecting something awesome. And he's like, I could just, I think I would try to do it one way and it, it just wouldn't be square. And I tried to do another way. And that's not square. And I was just like waiting, like, tell me more. And that was, Go the, on. that was the end of the funny story. I mean, what if that's how we conduct ourselves? Oh, uh, science. Dude. I got a funny story about science oh, wow. in high school. Gotta be in physical science. I was trying to get an A, <laughs> yeah. and I got a B. I, it wasn't even like a high B. It was like it was like an eighty four. You know, that's the thing. That, that's what makes it so funny. And I tried to like you know you know do some other things in the calculations to change up to make it not a B, but it was always a B. Was, no matter what I did, Brad, <laughs> it was still going to be a B. So anyway, I'm going back to Mars, but not because of that story. I'll tell you that right now. Oh uh, man! So never. That's, I've talked about it before in the podcast. Never put an adjective before your story. When you say I have, a, oh, just I got always a story about say, that. I have a, a story to tell okay, you. Okay, yeah. Never like I have a hilarious story. Yeah. Oh, I have the best story. Yeah. No adjectives sure. for your stories. No. Just say I have a story. Great. Love okay. It. That's the lesson I want you to learn. This. That was nice. That was it. That was it. I'm not blind. I'm not. <laughs> That's the end of the story. I'm not blind. That's what I, I got a funny story about uh, vision. About, about blindness. I'm not blind. Actually, my, my left contact's been blurry all week. I'm, that's my excuse for basketball last night, by the way. Yeah, I went one for three. You know, good contact? I probably I went two for three. Two for three. Easy, Brad. <laughs> Easy. No, seriously. I've been like... I've had a hard time with depth perception all week. That's too bad. Yeah, it is. And I'm like, I think I can just change out my contact. Did that. Didn't help. Then it gets scary. Then it's like, okay, maybe my prescription's bad, but my glasses look just fine, Jake. Oh. Explain that. Okay. So it's not something in your eyeball. It's I don't something think in your contact. So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So. It is tough, though. You're like, oh, I, I feel kind of sick to my stomach. I'm going to drink a bunch of milk, and now I still feel bad? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Usually milk helps. I'm, I must be really sick. <laughs> when I was little, you know, they gave me a milk every day at yeah. kindergarten. Yeah. Did you have that at kindergarten every day? 
Like you like, like had like a time where you went and had milk. Wait. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That almost escaped me. But yeah, out of the little cartons where like if you it got a little soggy, then you get some paper on your mouth. Yes, dude. The cartons are the worst. And for whatever reason, ours was always like frozen. Like like partially oh, frozen. The bottom it, like, of the freezer, you get frozen milk. Like, yeah. And like as a little kid, I was such a weenie in so many ways. And one of the ways was like, I really hated when it was frozen. Like mm. it like almost depressed me. Yeah. I know that's like a very extreme word, but like I really hated the like <laughs> s- like semi frozen chocolate milk. Like it was really gross to me. There was like an I don't know if it was an art form, but there was just like a an entire spectrum of what carton milk could be when we were that age like right. as far as like opening it like oh this is a crisp one like i have a really yes. like sharp point yes. like this is gonna be a good carton of milk right but there are others that are like i had to work it like back and forth for you a might while as well throw it away yeah you're like, done. this is not gonna be fun yeah. to drink out of no you're done i can't describe it but you guys know you exactly. guys know what no, i'm talking you, about yeah that that first pull if it's not if it's not clean just just give up give it back to mrs harrison and say i don't want any today it was same I'm as depressed. like <laughs> pulling out a paper from your three ring binder, like I'll just rip it. And then you don't get the perforated oh, edge. Yeah. Might as well not even use that piece of paper. Gosh, that, pro- that's so real. But then once you t- tore out the piece, did you also later on tear out the um, part that you like the remainder? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Good for you. The remainder. Yeah. The, uh, I think flappage is what that's called on a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flappage. flappage. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 RF. Yeah. I used so, to have we my parents. We didn't have a ton of money growing up. So we had flappage catch kids. <laughs> good for patch. you no yeah no i got it <laughs> i liked it Dang yeah it. the flavage patch because yeah uh, uh brad this weekend i wore um which totally does not defeat the purpose at all i wore someone's mask this weekend because we were going out <laughs> i didn't know we were going out i didn't have I've my mask multi- yeah yeah and so i just wore someone else's but i really liked it oh, okay. um not only for the talk about flappage ger- <laughs> germs that i was maybe getting uh-huh. but the the fit the snugness uh-huh. um it felt really nice. So right as soon as we get in to the place, I sat right there, right then on my phone and ordered them online. I was oh, like, really? I want more of these masks. I don't oh, think wow. these things are going away anytime soon. Yeah. I want to have one that I'm excited about. Good for you. So I've I, had like such a like stake in the ground of like, I am not going to pay for a <laughs> like like fashionable, cool mask. Two more weeks and this will be over with. Yeah. All right, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two more weeks. Okay, two, no seriously, guys, seriously, seriously. seriously. Comfort Colors is coming back soon, I promise. <laughs> no, they are. They said they said it a couple more weeks, <laughs> but I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna do this. And okay. it's, it was twenty five bucks for three mask. That's not terrible. Which is yeah, not as crazy high as I thought it might be. Yeah, um, it's from a, a company called I think you pronounce it Athleta. Oh, that's, that's like right? a, yeah, it's like a main it's like a mainstream big brand. brand. Yeah. big girl brand. They're not big girls, but big brand. Big the, girl brand. The girls are normal yeah, size. It's Christopher and Banks, I think. I don't know. It's an old woman brand. I don't know if okay. it's old big girls or not. I was like, is that the guy from Winnie the Pooh? Oh, That's Christopher Robin. Really close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you learn all that when you're a dad. Okay, um, I'll get there. Okay, Athleta. Athleta. Okay, so yeah. I uh, is, Are they the same people as Lululemon or Gap? or they're, they're owned by some other big company. I know they're not the same people as Lululemon. They might have the same like parent company, but there's no way they could be the same. Yeah, surely. <laughs> Athleta. No, Nike and Adidas. Those are different. Those are the same things, right? <laughs> they have shoes. They both have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> um okay, okay so okay, i okay. order I, thought, uh, <laughs> I order a mask from them and today a ups guy shows up mm-hmm. and drops off two packages and i was like oh must be the mask now the i ordered three masks i would assume surely these are not in two different packages that would make no sense open up the first package it's my three mask hooray okay. yippee they came second package i've brought for you here brad to to look at because <laughs> all right I like as this. you heard from the story a few moments ago i did not order anything else i ordered okay. three masks okay. i even double checked on my credit card yeah. Did not pay for anything else. But look what we got. got some goodies. Yeah. We got two things. If you're on YouTube, you can see this first. Oh. Oh, oh I'm having trouble. <laughs> My goodness. Oh. $98 new with tags, uh, size small uh, yoga pants. Oh, what? How about that? You gonna you try them on? Not yet. They fit. <laughs> <laughs> I think they fit you better than they fit me. Yeah, yeah. Ninety eight dollars for those babies. Yeah. And then Two that's things. not all. We got the nice little, nice little tank. Oh, Racerback, I think they, they Th- call those. Yeah, the yeah, Racerbacks, yeah. the Razor. I don't know. One of those. How about that? What? Uh, retail value MSRP. Let Thir- me guess. Thirty eight dollars. Thirty nine. <laughs> okay. Um, the best part is. Semi fitted skims easily over the body. Oh, body skimmer. Yeah, as I've opposed heard, to I've heard of those. if you ever had anti skimming technology. Oh gosh, it sucks. You can't it's get worse. it on or off. No, it's it's just always on. Uh, keyhole back to show off your bra. 
Thank goodness. Show, that's what it says on there? <laughs> yeah, baby. Is that a thing? Keyhole, People, keyhole back. Here, let me show you. No, I see the keyhole back. Do you, did you see keyhole? But I just didn't know that like that was like a fashionable, like I, I thought it was like always like a- Uh-oh, unlocked. I'm in the keyhole. Oh, it's a turnkey operation. Oh. Uh, I thought it was always like girls were trying to hide their bra. Oh, 2008? Sure. Not anymore, Brad. Man, my wife is just modest. I just love her. Times yeah. are changing. Good for her. She, Catherine won't show anyone her bra. No, absolutely. That's what makes her special. That's that's one of the things. Sorry, Catherine, that we're talking about you. Like that. <laughs> that's one of her <laughs> she things. She loves that, I'm sure. Um, that, so it was addressed to you, though? Yeah. All that stuff? Jay Triplett. Wow. Yeah, I've never had that happen before. They just sent me, wow. sent me yoga pants. So what are we going to do? I think Facebook Marketplace, unless you have a better okay. idea. No, I, I Halloween's was, coming up. Facebook Marketplace is, is the uh, right idea for profits. I was thinking like we could have a contest for the ghosties or something, but <laughs> no, Facebook Marketplace, do that. If I don't sell it in a few days, we'll do something. But uh, oh, how are your Halloween plans looking? How are, they, how are those looking? Uh, I'm going to my sister's house in Southwest Kansas. Whoa. Uh, my, yeah, my niece is turning five, I think. And we don't get out there very often, but she, my sister is trying to do like kind of a tradition of like every two years or something, we go out for their two kids birthdays. So going out for five year old birthday, I think she's October 30th is her birthday. So going out there, Hattie's dressing up like Mary Poppins. Oh, uh, Bo's going to look like Bert, Mary Poppins, uh, chimney sweep guy. Oh, okay. Um, and this is going to be a good time. Great time. Good time. Great time. That's yeah. fun. I, I was about to say, I don't really like Halloween that much. When you have kids though, it becomes fun again. Like as an adult, I, I don't like costumes very much. I'm not looking forward to Halloween. No, I don't have kind of, a child. I like the fall festivity of it. Like usually we get together with my whole family and we eat chili and it's just like this warm meal together. Yeah. It's, it's like five 30. It's already dark. So that's kind of fun. No, it's not. <laughs> that's you that tricking one day yourself. Night, yeah. Or that one night a year it's kind of fun and then we go trick-or-treating but yeah beyond that i don't really think halloween's all that great i got a little get together this friday night halloween eve which now i know it's been past halloween by the time you guys are listening to this uh don't really have a costume don't really want to find a costume yeah I was thinking about just uh taking some of greg's clothes and just dressing up as greg going to the oh, party because like greg will be, there greg too. be yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> i yeah i like the simple costumes that are a little bit creative because Free hole punch greg Similar. That's that's what Catherine and I one time, like, I don't know, at the end of the summer, if you guys do like a lifer party. Mm -hmm. So like everybody that works the entire summer at Canada is called a lifer. At least you call them that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so there's a party and usually it's like a we come in pairs. Like you dress up in pairs. Oh, we did not do that. Okay. So you're supposed to like dress up with somebody else. Yeah. People do whatever. Cowboy and Indian, whatever. Native American and uh, football team. Yes, thank you. Um, Catherine and I, like I, because she was like, what, what do we dress up as? Do you want to do, you know, I don't know what she said. Orville and Wilbur Wright. She didn't say that, but <laughs> that was the only thing I could think of. Um, but I was like, okay, let's go. Let's get two different pieces of paper. Let's put A squared on one of them, B squared on the other one, and go as... Like and people are like, what are you guys? And we're like, I- I'll just look at them like they're idiots. And I'll be like, we're C squared. <laughs> a squared and b squared <laughs> and like like that's like yeah my my version that's great so if you need if you're going with somebody else that also needs a costume maybe oh i don't know we could be a different theorem a squared and b squared or yeah get, get your own theorem or They're your own one person dressed up as a hippo the other one carries around a noose hypotenuse <laughs> oh i was like hippopotamus <laughs> or hypotenuse hypotenuse oh i like it needs that. some work i was just trying to stay within the pythagoras's world no i like that though hypotenuse hypotenuse um hey hey pot <laughs> what if you were no. like you figure out some way to like dress up kind of like sacagawea but like with a math uh spin and you were sokotoa oh remember sokotoa yeah 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 that was yeah. like for a trigonometry right sine cosine tangent yeah yeah, yeah. i think so or calculus or you just go right. as you, a stop sign. You go as yeah. like the cosigner on the, a house. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you go, you get spray tan. Sign, cosine tan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You're literally so good. Yeah. That's awesome. And with like a, a Native American headdress on. And then like always like if they ever ask you, like just act uh, like they're idiots. Again? Like... <laughs> How hard is it? I'm Sogatoa. I'm Sogatoa. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or just like, no, no, no. Here's what you do. You. It's too bad this is coming out after Halloween. Yeah. Man. You literally just have a foot bath the whole time. Okay. And you have your, just your big toe in there. Okay. And someone's like, what are you? And you're like, I'm Sogatoa. 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 Just Sogatoa. Yeah, Sogatoa. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 
That's that's what you got. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, like I'd much rather do a costume like that than like a regular like construction worker. I don't know something <laughs> yeah. like that. You know, I'm a I'm an angel and she's a, a devil. <laughs> right. That's cool. That's that's our relationship. Uh, ah, yeah. not much is different. It feels like we're not even dressing up. <laughs> oh god, if someone Every tells day me of that. The year. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up if someone tells me that. My goodness, I'm so sick of that kind of stuff. Oh, that's funny. I went to a coffee shop today, Brad. Congrats. Two things that happened. Uh huh. Congrats. Congrats on two things. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. First thing, I can't decide what I want to get. Kind of hungry. It's kind of lunchtime, but not that hungry. I go to the barista and I'm like, all right, I'm between like the the fruit yogurt bowl and the grilled cheese. I love when I love asking the workers the like recommendations. Mm-hmm. And I try to give them options. Not like what's good here. Sure. Sure. Because sure. then they're like, I mean, everything's, everything's pretty good. good. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks. How's it going? It's gone. Really good. Yeah. Cool. So like fruit, what? So like a fruit yogurt bowl or grilled cheese or grilled cheese. That sounds grilled cheese at like a place like that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And both of them, you know, not super heavy, but good, good, like light launch options. And she's given me some feedback on both. I mean, a lot of people get the yogurt bowl. I like the yogurt bowl. Honestly, though, if it were me, you can't go wrong with the grilled cheese. Okay. You got it. We've got three cheeses in there. Oh yeah. You're going to love it. I, I I really think you should go with the grilled cheese. Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I forgot exactly what I asked her. I think I said something like, when's the last time you had it? I don't even know why I asked her that. <laughs> but I was like, when's the last time you had it? Cred- credibility. Like what's your credibility? On and this? I'm glad I asked. She yeah. goes, oh, oh, to be honest with you, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't had either of those two but things. But I have it every single day. That's how good it is. <laughs> I was like, what? How? Like, you're just giving suggestions on things you've never had. I mean, oh. the yogurt bowl, sure, it's a little filling, but you're going to love it. It, it yeah, digest yeah, yeah. easily. Grilled cheese. Can't go wrong with grilled cheese. <laughs> so I hear. And then, yeah, yeah. just like, so I'm lactose intolerant. I've actually never had a grilled cheese. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that Poor sentence. girl, though, because like it, she's probably sweating bullets. You know, like <laughs> stop I am, asking I am me. I'm lying to this guy <laughs> about now, the now, cheese. Now, are the three cheeses they blend together well? Yes, they blend together very nicely to yeah. feel like it's just one really good cheese. You ever wear a tri blend t shirt from yeah. Go Exchange? A lot same like that. Same idea. Same idea. <laughs> same the idea. GRKC. Yeah, <laughs> four holes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So what, did you end up going funny. with the grilled cheese? Uh, end up. Uh, what did I? No, I didn't. I didn't get either because you're like, I'm not trusting this freak. I, yeah, I got a smoothie. <laughs> That's yeah. something she can digest. Yeah. And I, I felt I wanted to, you know, I got a smoothie in solidarity. OK, with Good for Amanda. You. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was nice. OK, uh, second thing I was getting up to leave. Trey and I were kind of working together and then Trey left earlier. I stuck around to get the work done. And then I left after that. A guy stops before I leave. He goes, dude, I'm sure you get this all the time, but. You're the guy in Trey's videos, right? And I go, I don't get this all the time. <laughs> yes, 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 say it louder, say it louder. <laughs> Let everyone here know. <laughs> You're the guy in that guy's like two million like view videos every single week, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I literally said. I was like, I don't get that all the time. So thank you. Let's go. It was pretty cool. I was like, dude, Trey was literally just sitting here. You just missed him. But it was fun. We really bonded. I He was asking me when I moved to Kansas City, I threw in, you know, oh, well, I used to work in youth ministry. He's like, dude, I'm a youth pastor. No way. Really bonded. Adam from Arkansas. What up, dude? Arkansas, Adam. He didn't say listen to the podcast. I don't think he does, but maybe he's starting to someday though. or this is week one or yeah. No. What if it's like he did correct opinions and then he got to do less. God bless. And then he's like starting a long time ago. And it's like, March of 2021, and he's finally caught up. And he's like, holy cow! <laughs> that was me, I think! <laughs> that had to have been me. That, uh, I'm from Arkansas, and my name's Adam. And, and I go to Black Dog Coffee. Yeah. Black yeah. Dog, yeah. Black Dog. Uh, so yeah, it was awesome. I, I really wanted to... I don't know what to do. I, I just love making friends so much. Like, I was fully ready to, like, invite this dude to come play basketball with us. Yeah. It's like asking we played pickleball, but I was like, yeah. is that too much? I don't know what the standard is these days. I don't days. know with, with men. I feel more comfortable like knowing what to invite a woman to. Oh, I it's was not about to say much. like the opposite. I feel like, well, yeah, you, like a man and a woman, it's a little bit more awkward. But like two women, I feel like it's like a little bit weird. I don't know. Like I, I think there's like it's so much easier for guys to just be like, hey, let's go hang out later. Like especially with sports. Yeah, we can do stuff. You don't have to talk very much in sports. It's you know? great. Yeah. Like I didn't talk to you at all last night in our basketball game. You know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that. Uh, yeah, maybe next time you see him. Next time, be like, dude, I've been at, I've been thinking about it. You play sports? I've been thinking about you a lot, dude. <laughs> you play sports or uh, you freak? <laughs> you, you like grilled cheese sandwiches or what? Um, no, 
but yeah, good coffee shop today. Good experiences. Good, dude. It's awesome. I went to a coffee shop yesterday with Harrison. And dude, I loved watching <clears throat> Brad put up a video on our Patreon. Go yeah. check it out. Ten dollars or more. You can go slash Patreon. Of <laughs> that's not it. Harrison looking or like just looking more into the the mouse in Chipotle from last week. Yeah. And it was hilarious. So Harrison's a, a solid ghosty because it was Monday morning that he like really? called me to ask me if I wanted to go hang out at McLean's, and I'm like, yeah, sure. He's like, uh, or he's like, you want to hang out and maybe get lunch or something. He's like, probably not Chipotle, obviously, after today, right? Wow. And I was like, oh, wow, like you're you're into this. Um, and but anyway, we were talking about it. I was like, dude, I got to be honest. The more I watch or look at that photo, I'm just not quite sure like that. I truly, truly believe until I hear the account of the person uh, that I, I don't truly believe in this. TBD. Thing. Um, and then he like started like, yeah, litigating like all these different like things like, yeah, and this, this. I don't know about that. And I was like, dude, I got to start recording this. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny. It was really funny. Um, I really appreciated it. So yeah, he, uh, that was funny. And then randomly we found out that we both had, uh, connections to, uh, Baylor Kappa. My wife was a Baylor Kappa. Okay. And then, uh, one of his high school friends. And so he's like, dude, have you heard the Kappa rap? And I'm like, yeah, Catherine, Catherine's pledge class was the Kappa rap. Have you heard about this? No. It's like, well, like it, it like really did. I don't know if it like went viral, viral, but it like went viral in the right circles kind of thing to the point where Harrison heard about it when he was in the Naval Academy in, in, in Maryland. <laughs> okay. So it spread. And they like, they like bumped it all the time. Like it was like this music video that was supposed to be like helping recruitment or whatever for Baylor Kappa, but it just like went viral within Kappa. And he's like, dude, yes, I know the girl, one of the girls that rapped in it, you know, whatever. And I was like, Catherine's in that video. We're like, no, no way. way. And so he's like played the video for us. It, he like bumped it at McLean's and like knew every word and was like rapping along <laughs> with it. And it was like three o'clock in the coffee shop. So it wasn't super bumping or anything, but still he was like, you know, getting into it. I remember when I was in your shoes, you know, he's like <laughs> rapping the whole thing. Why does he know the lyrics to the cafe? Rap? Because he and his friends in the Naval Academy loved the song. It's a pretty catchy tune. And uh, like, yeah, they would just rap it all the time and like listen to it. I see so, Kappa Rap 2. Kappa Rap 2 is the, the big one. Yeah. 1.3 million views. Oh, really? That yeah. big? Yeah. Yeah. It's up there. Yeah. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if you're a Kappa out there, you've definitely heard it. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know. But. Should we play it or no? I mean, yeah, as long as we're not going to lose uh, royalties. There's no way. There's <laughs> no way. I'm sure people are curious. I'm curious. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Oh, the auto tune is so bad. No. It's, 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 it's. Like, they Harrison were, knows all this. They would bump this in the Navy? Yeah, dude. Oh. Have you heard her name? <laughs> no, this is so bad. No, the, the chorus is good. Wait for the chorus. Whoa, that was close. Welcome to college. <laughs> Acknowledge. Cute. Whoa. Exceptional. Want to be on top? Like me. All you gotta do is go KKG. Hey. Low down, Kappa's the best around. Thank God I'm a Kappa, 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 Kappa Gamma. You gotta, you gotta be a KKG. I was in your shoes. Okay, that's, okay, that's okay. Harris is like rapping along to it. I have a video of it. I'll put it on the Patreon. Uh, yeah. The chorus wasn't bad. It was fine. I mean, obviously, it's not amazing, but it's like. I can't believe it's 1.3 million views. Well, I'm sure every Kappa in the world's like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard. You know, <laughs> sororities are so funny, man. The so. top comment, I guess, is making fun of one of the lines. It says, blue is our color. Blue is also our other color. That is that is one of the lines. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like the Kappa thing is like they're blue on blue or whatever. So That's funny. The top comment's from Hoodie Allen. Do you know who that is? Like the Hoodie Allen? Yeah, like a big time rapper. <laughs> the top comment's from Hoodie Allen. He was one of the comments of blue is our color. That's funny. That's awesome. Who? Anyway. Uh, wow, that's fun. Coffee shops. <laughs> yeah, Harrison was just getting it at the coffee shop, like was rapping that second verse. And he loves this, he loves the line, blue is our color, blue is our other color. <laughs> like that's like his favorite line, I think. That's so. funny. Uh, hey, before I forget, look, you guys on YouTube, Brad and I are wearing hoodies. Oh my gosh. Oh. Guys. Hot. Very hot. Dog. Very comfy dogs, too. <laughs> hot and comfy dogs. Hot and comfy dogs. Snuggle up. 
Yeah. Uh, last week we mentioned that uh, Comfort Colors is out of stock, can't get anywhere, but we we're maybe going to get hooked up with like a replacement brand. So they sent some extras to Brad and I. We're sporting them right now. Yep. I will put my hand on a Bible and say, "Holy cow, God, yeah. these are nice." Yeah. Don't say "Holy cow" to God though. I don't think he's. What do you? He doesn't like sacrifice. Um, Holy Lamb, Rayshak and Abednego, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, something like that. Like no other idols, kind of thing. Like they understand that. So got it. Dang it. What was I thinking? Rayshak and Abednego. Is that right? No. Meshach. <laughs> Meshach. Rayshak and Abednego. Rachak. Rayshak. Rayshak. Raycon. Pa- Paige Stoyakovich. Paige Stoyakovich. <laughs> Paycheck. Paychecks. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! They the, the yes, merch is very comfortable. It's very though. good. It's like, very good. Like like surpass my expectations. Like I'm gonna wear this hoodie sample hoodie that I got I'm, I'm all excited. the time. I got a plain nice navy hoodie to wear. It is so, so comfy. I think uh, we feel good enough about these. We feel more than good enough about these to send these out to everyone. Yeah, I would assume that this is exactly what the comfort colors feel like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're just made <clears throat> probably the exact same company, just without the same label. Maybe so. So. Um, they also have crew necks like, like this. Yes. So everything will be nice. You will get all your merch soon. Like it's all going to be shipped out soon. You'll get it. Yes. Um, and speaking of merch, why not just, uh Oh, pew, 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 breaking news. You guys have loved, uh, hearing Brad and I talk and also just yourselves on a weekly basis, maybe daily basis, just taking the, taking the wife and kids through the drive through just, for, you know, you're a little parched. Yeah. And you just need that, just a quick just little, a little drink. refreshment. A yeah. little, little beverage. You take them all through, none other than just drinks. Just drinks. Just drinks. It's just drinks. Do you want a cookie or like a, anything else with it? Sorry. Sorry, you can't. Not here. This is just drinks. That's that's down the road. This is just drinks. This is just drinks. We got just a fast drink. moving drive through. Well, guess what? You know, they're a booming company. They're yeah. all over the nation. And they're sweeping. They've just come out with t-shirts. Yeah. And here's the thing. We're the only people who sell them. Yeah. We, which is crazy. We hooked it up. Just like uh, Dude Perfect like, got the quarter got the beans. on beans. <laughs> we got the quarter on just drink shirts. Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> dude, Yeah. Uh, but yeah, right now, ghostrunners.live, it's your last week to get all of our fall merch, and it is your first week of the rest of your lives, guys. Just Drinks. It's also the first week to get Just Drinks shirts. Merch, yeah. Um, yeah, check them out. Uh, we're really proud of the design that yeah, we have yeah, yeah. up there, you know. Yeah, we're, we're workshopping them right now, so we'll <laughs> see what, what ends up. We will be proud. Being the final product. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're very proud, proud of them. Proud of the, proud of the product. Pr- proud of the product. So proud, proud check of. it out. Uh, I never thought I'd see the day where we're making making sure it's for a company that doesn't exist. But Just Drinks merch is out. Oh, it's so fun. Ghostwriters.life. Yeah. It's so fun that like, because it was overwhelming demand, honestly. Like so many people were like, oh, people love please it. make this shirt. <laughs> please make it. Seriously. And I'm like, okay, we should make I, a shirt. I guess we will. I think it's really fun though. It is fun. Yeah. It's just like, why? what's that? Kind of like a Dunder Mifflin shirt or something like that. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, bigger, whatever, bigger <clears throat> fake company. But anyway, fun times. Fun times. Uh, Jake, this is a random question. Do you, have you had a song stuck in your head at all this week? Uh, yeah. Like I have like a different song almost every week. Like I bet the Kappa rap might be that song for I me I was going to say, it's a little stuck right yeah. now. I can't really think of any of those songs, but yeah, sure. Uh, for whatever <clears throat> reason, the song that's stuck in my head, I don't even really know how it goes, but have you heard that song uh, saying low key F 2020? No. You heard this? It's like a, it's like a top 40 song. Okay. I, I was to top 40 like once, once a month probably. Okay. And yeah, there's like a song and it's like low key F twenty twenty. That's all the part I know of it. And it's about it's like literally F-150s? about fifties, like a new twenty F one fifty twenty twenty. Yeah, they're not very good. Where's the, the key? The uh, carbon fiber. Yeah, low key. Low, low key. Yeah, it's low key down there. Huh. But for whatever reason, I that's in my head. And then I thought of the joke. I think the Avengers like bad guy's name is low key. Yeah. And then uh, Hugh Hefner is Hef. And so I was thinking like maybe we could make a parody about like telling them that they should run for president together, like low key half 2020. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that's what has been going through my head in the shower lately. So wow. Shower okay. thoughts. I didn't, I don't know that. Like, I, I feel like, yeah, every week I have a different song. A lot of times it's the jingle song. Cause then I'll listen to it again whenever the podcast comes out and then it's just in my head. Mm. But lately low key half 2020. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's a, uh, so someone I know has, has done a, a low key, pun like that before you know who cody co is i think we talked about yeah him. yeah him and his partner that he does uh his podcast with they make music from time to time okay and his partner noel came up with like a uh a rap song where he talks about 
it's it's not super appropriate. Oh, okay, okay. And he's talking about how this girl is calling him Thor because mm. she wants his hammer. Okay. Low key. Oh, oh, okay. And it's like, oh, pun. Pun. Yeah. Dude. We're right there. Pun. We're right. <laughs> We're right there with them. That's, yeah. So that's good. same thing. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Low key have 2020. <laughs> no clue what you're talking about, but sounds good. Yeah. I, we're the most political podcast in Kansas. So low key have 2020. We're here to say low key have 2020. That's right. Yeah. Um, something I just thought of, I should have brought this up when we were talking about basketball earlier. Maybe I misheard. Maybe I, I didn't quite see something that happened. But before the game, the, the scorekeeper comes up to me and is having me like run through everyone's name and number. Because some of us don't have numbers on the back of our shirts. None so of I'm us asking, do. Uh, Gunner's like, oh, I'm going to be zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll be number three. Brad's like, I'm six. I'm six. I'm six. And you, I go, oh, LeBron and Heat. Yeah. Like I confirmed it for yeah, her, yeah, like yeah. in case she didn't know. Yeah. Because I'm sure she's a huge, huge yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she, 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 yeah. Definitely got those vibes. Oh, yeah. Keep going. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> well, in second half of the game, I don't know when this started happening, but... First foul of the game is when it started happening. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. So I didn't notice it till yeah. the end, but all of a sudden I realized that, like, okay, she's now... The ref is calling Gunner Zero and is calling Brad Double Zero. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized it after Brad said something yeah. and it was pretty funny. On the court, I'm like, hey, why is he got to be Double Zero? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You know, you, you never have a skinny guy. Like, you know, the point guard's never double zero. Yeah, it's Greg Ostertag. Right, that's He's what I was double like. Zero. I'm Greg Ostertag over here. Like, what's going on? Big Country Reeves, you know, whatever. I was trying to... A lot I of Devots over here. I couldn't get a laugh from the ref. I, none of the other team thought it was funny. I was like, guys, we have a podcast. <laughs> Are you not seeing this? You would love this. <laughs> I really... You guys must really not like our podcast then. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, there was like he didn't even hesitate or like he's usually they found the hey, hey, what's your what's number? Because it did that to me. Yeah. Towards the end of the game. He just assumed <laughs> big man double zero. <laughs> hey, we got a foul. Double zero. Double zero on uh Reshack. I I'm like, what what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know, like maybe it's just like there's like certain numbers. What if that's like a stereotype of like the refs like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and call the shortest guy in the team number eighteen. The biggest guy in the team, number double zero. You know, tallest guy in the team, number eleven. Because long two and ones, slender. Yeah, right. You know, whatever. Like, like there's just all these like codes. That'd be kind of a cool connection, but it would be kind of hurtful if you understood the connection. <laughs> but anyway. fun fact about basketball: Do you know that no one can have a number above five? Like eighteen can't exist in the NBA. Anything goes. Like you know, Luca's like seventy or whatever. Wait, wait. What do you mean above five? Because the refs want to tell the scorekeeper who fouled with one hand. So it has to be oh, like, you got to cross the arm on one five. So you can be like 33, which is above five. You can't have a digit above five. A digit above five. Oh. Digit above five. Oh, interesting. So yeah, like no no 36s even. This is a little bit yeah. off topic, but I would love to see um, a documentary, like a 30 for 30 about refs. Okay. I think it's very interesting because if you are a ref, you have to be very passionate about sports. And so that means that you grew up really loving probably a certain sports team. Yeah. And you're a professional referee. And even if I'm refing like a professional NFL referee for the Packers Broncos game, I have like some feelings towards those two teams, even though I'm a Chiefs fan. You know what I mean? Like, like the Broncos really killed us a lot growing up. I'm going to, I'm going to call a few plays for the Packers here. You know, like what type of person can be a professional referee? Yeah. I want to know the personality type that it takes to, yeah. Like sports aficionado, but not very like opinionated. Maybe does it, you know, have very strong convictions, right? Like if that guy, if it's his off season or if he's, if he if he's doing a uh, game on Monday night, is he watching a game on Sunday and rooting for a certain team? Oh, you know, yeah. Or can he, how does he draw that line? I want to know. Right hand, left hand, stencil. What are we talking? Yeah, one hand though, not not multiple. He uses his other hand for something else. Uh, speaking of documentaries, yeah. they need to make a documentary about Borat too. I'm assuming <laughs> you haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. Holy cow. Uh. I don't know how many people out there have probably seen it by now, but. What a flick. Yeah. It has um, it's just some insane stuff. Have you seen this stuff that it went viral on Twitter with Rudy Giuliani? No. Oh. So, I mean, first of all, like he gets... With Borat? Yeah, like they're, he does a scene with him. How does Rudy Giuliani not know about Borat? Or somebody in Rudy, Rudy Giuliani's, Rudy Giuliani's Rudy camp? Rudy Giuliani's. Yeah. That, you're asking yourself that pretty much the whole movie. Of really? like, how is this happening? How yeah. How is someone not catching on to this? Yeah. I mean, there's a scene where he just straight up... Borat's not even like in disguise. He looks like Borat. He's somewhere in America. He goes to uh, a cake shop uh -huh. and she's like, what could you want on your cake? And he just goes, can you put Jews will never replace us? And she goes, sure. 
Really? <laughs> I'm like, how is this? That's that's good. <laughs> no questions asked. Oh, yeah. It, if you pay 30 bucks, I'll put whatever you want on there. Wow. But uh, oh, it's very fascinating. Just like how they made it all there. He spends like five days with like, you know, those like Q, QAnon people mm -hmm. who like think that yeah. the Clintons drink children's blood. He spends oh, like five that. days with them during like okay. the quarantine. Yeah. It's just like, what do these guys think of like this camera crew? What do they think of Borat? Um, yeah. It's it's fascinating. So is it all in America? Yes. Is that always how it, I haven't seen the other movie either, the first one. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it's also in America. And um yeah, it's crazy. He like straight up interrupts like a um a Mike Pence like big speech, like the CPAC speech back uh -huh. in February. It's kind of it's like Oh, I heard it's, about that. It's a very I like, hear about that. Really? Yeah. I mean, you can search it now. It's you know, you can you can find articles from February of 2020 of yeah. like man a Donald Trump mask interrupts Mike Pence's speech about the coronavirus. Right. They didn't realize who it was. Yeah. They had I, no I, idea. I didn't hear about that one. Yeah. Wow. And it's a pretty like politically driven movie, but you know, it's very, very funny and very crude. Just FYI, very crude. Yeah. Just I think know you, that going into it. Yeah. You should probably know that already going into the Borat. It's stuff. the Borat one and Borat two, the two crudest movies I've ever seen. But, really? um, so I was a big fan of the show, but I never watched the movies. So uh, yeah. I, and I never saw the show. I don't know how similar they are. I think they're, yeah. I mean, the show's obviously motivated the movies or inspired the movies. So they're probably similar. But it's also kind of interesting. There's parts of it. Like me, Ty and Kyle watched it on Friday night and then spent like an hour Saturday morning talking about it Yeah, just because like, so these two, like, you know, most people would label like crazy people that he stays with, like yeah. believe these crazy lies. Yeah. Um, and crazy conspiracy theories, you know, Borat's in his character talking about how women have strings for brain. When I said something confusing, I hear one snap in her brain. <laughs> and then, you know, they're like, no, 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 that's, I mean, women have brains. They, uh, you know, they, they're just as capable of doing stuff we are, you know, and they like, what, what? <laughs> and Borat's try to say, to say something else. And they're like, no, 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 that's a conspiracy theory. Like, don't believe that. Like, that's crazy. Oh, but then other things they do believe. Yeah. So it's just, it's interesting. Huh. You know, it's just yeah. like. Maybe they're not so crazy. They've just been like fed these lies. I don't, there's a lot you can like take from yeah, it if you want. Deep. If yeah. you want. I think that's totally true about a lot of people that just believe wrong things. Yeah. It's just like, you don't know any better. I think Sasha Baron Cohen is just like very smart and very yeah. good at what he does. Oh, and yeah. It's pretty cool. So talk about a documentary. It. Yeah. Is that what that's? I guess that's kind of how this started. But like, I want to see how Sasha they Baron that. Cohen. I want to know. I want to see a documentary. For sure. About just him. him. Like, how, like, how, what's he really like? Yeah. Because you don't really know. He's always in character. Yeah. So that's a good point. So how was your time with Ty and Kyle? Kyle. Dude, it was... <laughs> kind of Ty, Ty and Kyle. I, mess, I screwed up all the time. Do you? Yeah. Kai and Tyle? Yeah, Kai and Tyle. It was so good. It was it was awesome. It yeah. was cool that they came here. I didn't have to go far. Were they coming for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I was going to go to them. And they're like, do you mind if we come to Kansas City? I was like, no, I've been out of town like four weekends in a row. This would be awesome. Nice. So no pickleball for me this weekend, but... yeah. Got to hang out with two of my best friends. So, yeah, it was so good. And we put up a bonus episode on the Patreon of us three talking together, which is great. Mm -hmm. So many stories got left out, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know how good of a job we did. I think did. you need to do a second one. Probably. Seriously. Like, there's an entire, it like... be a regular thing. Have I ever told you about the time we were doing karaoke in Seattle? We'd been there for, like, two hours. And everything was, like... We had been performing a couple times here and there. The whole time, who knows how long... Well, so Ty, Ty goes on for like his third time and he performs You Raise Me Up by Josh Groban. Nice. And he it, goes hard. That's a, that's a deep cut. I mean, like a, a hard one. Like it's not like a quick, easy one. Yeah, it's it's a long song. Yeah. It, it really you think the song's over and then it really builds at the end. <laughs> yeah. So when it builds, uh, we're in like a very popular bar and people are into it. Like Ty's killing the performance. People are very sure. into the song. It's probably not easy to get people into. Yeah. At the final crescendo of the song, out of his waistband, he pulls out a can of cheese whiz. Kyle and I are just like, where has that been? How long has he had that? And, you know, you raise me. You want me to eat this cheese whiz? <laughs> Pours it in his own mouth. We're just like, what are we watching? And then people rush the state. I think he may even say like, who else wants cheese whiz? And like, I'm not kidding. Not exaggerating. At least like three girls go to the stage. And it's like he's pouring shots. But he's yeah. just like cheese whizzing three girls in a row. <laughs> And like that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen, and totally forgot to mention that on the podcast. <laughs> that's when you know, like, yeah, you had a lot of experiences with somebody, and you forget <laughs> a story like that. Like that's insane. There's that, so many stories like that. I was like, why did we not talk about that? Like that is so funny. It's I, so weird. That's amazing, dude. Like I feel like, I if I went on that trip with you, I would probably get burnt out of being like on whatever mm -hmm. you know, on whatever, like on whatever being you know what on. Yeah, being on, not being. Being on something, you know, like, uh, 
after like 10 days or something like that. Like I'd, I'd be really excited for a few days to be like, let's make some funny stuff. You know? Yes. Yes. And then it's like, never mind. Uh, you know, not never mind, but just like, I don't, I don't really, I'll just do regular karaoke real quick. <laughs> not cheese whiz karaoke. Yeah. That was like, that's nuts. 65 days into the trip. He's yeah. pulling out cheese whiz. That's amazing. <laughs> it was awesome. It was really good. If you guys want, uh, yeah, to listen, we recorded for like an hour, just talking about old stories. Yeah, uh, I just posted really a clip good. of, uh, yeah, when we talked about the time that a hospital raised money for us, which yeah. is interesting, and uh, plenty of other fun stuff. So we it was, to, oh, go ahead. It was good. We don't have to talk about like every single aspect of that episode because mm. that's that episode. But I really liked you guys talked about the uh, it, not Excelsior Springs. What's it called? Hot Springs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Uh-huh. I loved. I remember Eureka that. Springs. Eureka, Eureka Springs. Springs. Eureka Springs. I loved that uh, video when you guys posted that. Like Finding the Craig. first time, it was so funny. Yeah, I loved that. That was so. That good. was the day I met Kyle. It was like, let's try this out. Yeah, let's it's a great see. story. Oh, and he's so funny. And you documented it well. I remember just thinking, like, this is awesome. So <laughs> I mean, it's it's truly like it's it seems like there's a script to it. Like right. the highs and totally. lows. You're like, we're gonna find Greg. No, he yeah, just yeah, left yeah. town. Oh, and then it gets good at the end. So. Check out the Patreon. <laughs> Listen to the episode. It's really good. Thanks. How was um, your weekend with uh, whoever you were with? Weekend was good. It was spent working on that darn deck still, man. Darn deck. The darn deck. Uh, just any ever, anytime now that Catherine ever says, like, I want to change something in our house, I'm going to be like, let's find a new house then. I don't, I don't want, I don't want any of it. <laughs> yeah. Like, like every, it's like I said last week, like every time it's like, oh, this will be easy. This won't be that hard. That won't be that expensive. Never true. Like, Next time she's like, hey, I wish we had a deck. I'm going to be like, that house down the street has a deck. Maybe you go let's, sleep with let's, them. Let's, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Don't show me bra. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, you're on something. Uh, <laughs> no. And so, yeah, anyway, that's that's what I did most. Like All day Saturday, I worked on that darn deck. Shout out to my family, my parents and my aunt. They watched Hattie for a long time this past week while I did a lot of stuff. But Working on the darn deck. Yeah, and then all day Sunday was pretty much spent in the car picking up Catherine. But that did not stop me from watching NFL Red Zone Let's go. while I drove. It was a good Sunday for football. It was awesome. There was one time. It was it was the most electric like five minutes of NFL Red Zone I've ever experienced. The Browns Bengals game, Falcons Lions, and Steelers Titans were all coming down to the wire at like the exact same time. Three noon games, all they, like yeah. yeah. And they call it the triple box, and so they Aww. have three different. They're like, <laughs> and the guy like the announcer is like, "We're going to a triple box." <laughs> Like Pewter? He's, he's so excited about it. Put like, on the tri box. <laughs> every once in a while they go, he's like, we have a rare quad box situation. <laughs> like he's like so into the he's like, like We're a, going to triple box. You see, like it used to be a storm chaser and yeah. just can't turn off that like really like it's, e- excitable part of his talking. It's amazing. Like that guy truly is amazing though, because he'll he'll announce like all three games at once and he knows every single player and every single screen. Like uh the Browns got a touchdown to somebody Peoples Jones is his last name. And he's like, Was that Peoples Jones in the end zone? <laughs> You know, like he, like I've never heard of People's Jones before. No, I don't think that's a person. Uh, right. It's like a small. It's like Ronald like, People's Jones or something like that. It's like a Facebook group. Or <laughs> hey, something. come on. Join People's Jones. We need you. We need you in the uh, the group. PJ. Oh, I'm the admin. Yeah. There, this guy's a moderator. He's the top fan over here. Uh, we love People's Jones. So anyway, uh, it was electric. Like literally, I was having so much fun. I was on the interstate and there was no one around me, I promise. Don't judge me too much for the fact that I was kind of watching... TV while driving. Uh, but I literally was laughing out loud to myself, like in excitement because of how <laughs> great these like two minutes of football were. That's awesome. Cause it was like, yeah, this guy missed a field goal. Like Todd Gurley accidentally went in the end zone at one point. That was crazy. And so then the lions came back and they had that crazy stuff. And yeah, the Titans missed the field goal and whatever the, the Bengals scored and then the Browns scored right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was awesome. So it's a good couple minutes electric, of football. Electric, electric try box. But, uh, Anyway, the triple box. When um, uh, one thing I did when Ty and Kyle were still here, I took him to Oklahoma Joe's. Of course, got to take him there. Yeah, we have. Um, you don't really have waiters necessarily at Oklahoma Joe's, but you have people who like come around and check on you, could take your trash, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mostly just that, right? Yeah, yeah. So a guy comes up to us. <laughs> I don't know how funny this will be now, but at the time it was pretty great. And he asked if, or I think he he kind of gets some eye contact with me, and he's like, uh. What does he say initially? Like, can I get you anything? Or like, how are you? Oh, I think he says like, how are you doing? Kind of like, how is your meal going? Like, oh, okay. hey, how, how are you doing? And I'm like, good, man. How are you? He's like, oh, I was just like, 
asking like if I could get anything for you. And I was like, yeah, I know, man. I just, I'm just how being you're doing. a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. So it, sure. It, so he's like, oh, okay, cool. He starts to walk away. Then he comes back and he's like, I mean, it's just, it's just something I do around here. I, I go from table to table and I will ask <laughs> like people, you don't understand. Like, I will ask people how they're doing, their like meal. if I can get anything for yeah. them or if I could do something. He's just describing to me what just anyone in a restaurant does. Right. Right. <laughs> They will, it's the craziest thing, they, they will pay me yeah. every two weeks for doing this. I mean, it's, it, it's like clockwork. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, like yeah. every two weeks they'll pay me. They say I get like $15 an hour though. It's really only like eleven ninety five after taxes. Get like, this. There's this tax thing going on. <laughs> FICA? Have you heard of it? You know about that? Scam, dude. It's different than FAFSA found out. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Different. Let me tell you, FAFSA was good for me. This is not. <laughs> Don't like FICA. Yeah. Yeah, just explain to me like what uh, like a busboy does. <laughs> just like, see, that's something I kind of been doing. Uh, so you see that trash can over there? I will take your food and put it in there. But the plastic plate, like that, those go reuse. We'll, we'll throw those in the back. We'll put them through a, this uh, thing that to a dishwasher. It's a big one though. It's not. It's not one that you see at your house. It's really quick. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, we don't actually have that many trays. We we wash these no, and we'll no, clean no. them. And odds are you maybe had the same tray twice. So are you doing well or not? <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's funny, man. Oh, man. Yeah, we, we roasted him for another five minutes once he left the area. Just like, That's so, so funny. Something about me. Uh, I like to go around and ask how people are like, yeah, yeah, no, we got it. Even if I had never been to a restaurant before, I think I still could have figured it out. What an interaction. Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. Nice uh, guy. Nice guy. Oh, um, I had a great week of podcasters who are also fans of woodworking. Four different podcasters what? ordered tables from Ellis Custom Creations. Whoa. Not tables, sorry. Whoa. Uh, orders, though, from oh, Ellis Custom Creations. Still. I got knackbacks. Knackbacks. Uh, shout out Tiffany Baxter. It's her birthday t- t- on Halloween. T- Tiff Bax. Oh, Isaac's birthday. Tiff Bax, Isaac Bax, birthday Bax. They had a, it was a monster mash Bax, Max Bax. I heard they're going hiking. Broke Bax. Broke Bax Mountain. <laughs> that, that's where they're going to go. <laughs> yeah, they broke their Bax. Uh, getting up the mountain. Uh, <laughs> knackbacks. Uh, the Coens, Avery Cohen, Coen Avery Brothers. Mack. Oh, yes. Cohen Brothers directed True Grit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> way more than Spielberg. <laughs> the Coens and uh, the Nelsons. I don't even. I hadn't even heard of them. Don't even know. Yeah, I had no idea. And then I don't know if I should say the last person because he's engaged. Surprise! I think it's like a surprise for his fiance. But so if you're engaged just, out there, just tell me, Dua Lipa or no? Not Dua Lipa. No, it was a it was a cutting board. But if you're engaged out there, maybe be expecting something from your sweetie. Uh oh. So if you're if you haven't ordered one yet, maybe this is like your pressure to order. One. Get some for your sweetie. Uh, yeah. So anyway, dude, that's huge. It was awesome. Yeah, it was like worlds colliding here. It's really fun. Huh. The Coens are actually ordering like a whole dining set and everything, but they live down like near Dallas in Salina, Texas. Do you remember they like? At, they had a voice memo one time yeah. about it. Uh, but I'm going to deliver it to them when we go to Sherman, Texas for Thanksgiving. Perfect. Yes. I celebrate that holiday too. Right. Like Speaking of big privately. weeks, I've been keeping track. You know, we had six Mondays in a row. I said, I doubt if we get an, a seventh. We did not get a seventh. Dang it! But. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I knew you were going to react this way. That's why I tried to let you down last week. I was like, I'm going to, you know. Jake watches The Bachelorette is a is a big title. It's hard to top that. However, Chipotle Brad. Chipotle Mouse! <laughs> <laughs> However, Brad. However, Brad. Yeah. Biggest Thursday ever. Oh! We're back. Yes, 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 yes. We're back. I take away my dang it. <laughs> Sorry, by the way. How do you listen to this? Sorry. Don't say say shoot, Hattie. No, don't even say shoot. Well, say nuts. Oh, well, nuts. I don't know if you just nah, say. say <laughs> Holy cow. Well, say, not say, the Bible. No. <laughs> Say perhaps, perhaps it could be different. <laughs> uh, That's well, besides, you besides, besides, besides. That's no. what I like. <laughs> okay, uh, biggest but, Thursday. It was our biggest Thursday ever, and our biggest Wednesday for a single episode. I'm gonna start just getting real crazy. Remember when like the Royals were bad for 30 years? Yeah. You go to a game and they'd be like, <laughs> Raul Ibanez is batting 345. It gets left-handers after dusk. Yeah. It's like okay, not bad. <laughs> That's were, pretty good. They have to dig pretty he's a deep. Good, he's a night gamer <laughs> to find like these crazy stats. That's oh, what yeah. I'm gonna become <laughs> for the podcast. I love it. It's like episodes starting with A through G. It's our most popular one. Big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big one for us. But wow. Yeah. Wait, how can it, how do you know that about Thursday? Did you, are you really, is that serious? 
That is serious. Yeah, both things I said are serious. But it's Tuesday. Last Thursday. Oh, last Thursday. Was last our Thursday biggest was Thursday, Thursday ever. Okay, okay. And then last Wednesday was our biggest Wednesday that a single episode ever got. Oh, okay. So that that's still the last episode, not the Chipotle Mouse episode. Correct. Okay, so maybe. Who knows? Maybe this Thursday is going to blow. It could be a big Friday. Blow out of the water. I don't know. Blow the Bachelorette out. Interesting. Who knows? Oh, did you say Bachelor? I did. Because I have something to say about that real quick. Uh, Trey and I are currently writing a, a Bachelor spoof video just because, you know, it's the season. Uh, they're making bachelorettes right now and the, we've never made a bachelor style video. So we're writing it. And I think I made the comment of like, I wonder how much it would cost to get Chris Harrison to Kansas city. And we're kind of laughing. And then Trey was like, well, we could pay for like a cameo from him. You're familiar with that, oh, right? Yeah, if you guys yeah. don't know, cameo is a website where you can pay for like yeah. personalized videos from people for a certain amount of money. So Chris Harrison's is $425. And okay. we're like, might be worth it though. Yeah. Depending on what he says. Mm-hmm. And so we're like, what can we get him to say? Because like, <clears throat> we want to kind of like use it against him in a way. We want to be able to like manipulate it somehow. So we <laughs> wrote out this script. Uh, I should pull it up, but whatever. I think I can remember it kind of. We wrote out the script. So Trey is going to be playing the role of a guy named Taylor in the video. Oh, okay. we, we told Chris Harrison, hey, our friend. Hey, this is Claire. My friend Taylor just got broken up with. She's devastated. She's a huge Bachelor fan. Um, she's okay. back with her family now in Georgia um thought you could say a few uplifting words to her and here's like a little maybe something something you could say so we write a little script and so it's like <clears throat> hey taylor uh so, so i'm sorry you're going through a tough time over the years i've seen a lot of love sometimes it doesn't work out um i think you need to you know ditch that zero and find the hero for you okay. um i hear that you're back home with your family in georgia and guess what there's nothing like a Georgia peach. Um, we also wrote in the script, if you, she's a huge Bulldogs fan. If you bark, she would die. <laughs> <laughs> so we put that in there. And I can't remember the rest. So the plan is that, you know, he'll be she like, would let's, die. let's FaceTime in Chris. And so like, hey, Chris. Hey, Taylor. Take that. Cut it right there. Okay. And then Chris, I'm having the hardest time. Like these girls are just like, so just like beautiful you know whatever he's like i hear you're going through a tough time like yeah that's right i am all these girls look so good and then uh i I forget he's like oh especially like mary margaret dude like when she leaves the room she looks even better you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and then he's gonna go nothing like a georgia peach and then we go chris you dog oh (laughs) and then he barks yeah (laughs) we were dying laughing in like this coffee shop we were writing like this is gonna be so good and then we're saying something else like Chris, shoot me straight. You ever, uh, you ever peek inside the fantasy suites when stuff's going on? Over the years, I've seen a lot of love. Like, Chris, <laughs> gross, dude. Gross, Chris. Oh, man. And then I think the only last thing we had was like, okay, just be honest. What are the odds I actually end up with any of these women? And then we'll take this thing of just zero. When he says ditch that zero for <laughs> oh, a hero. Yeah. So we'll love see. It. I love it. We'll see what he ends up giving us. We're going to kind of be at the mercy of what he says. Yeah, um, I wonder if you could. Well, it, it's too late. You already submitted it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was gonna say maybe you could have put zero in there multiple times, hoping that at least he said one of the zeros. Get one clean zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that's awesome, dude. Yeah, I've that's, never really done anything like that, but I was like, this is so fun and feels so dirty. A little yeah, bit, so. right. Like he could easily get very frustrated if he sees that video, or yeah. like maybe like say something, even like try to take it down or something, which would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> like yeah, talk about headlines. If we get poultry with Chris Harrison, yeah. Trey has like a cameo connection or like okay. a, he knows a woman who works there. Okay. And so he texts her. He's like, just to make sure, like once we pay for a video, like we own it. Right. And that's, she like didn't really understand the question. She's like, yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. He's like, S- but like, it's, it's mine. Like I, no yeah. one can say anything. And so I think legally we're in gotcha. the clear. Huh. That's so interesting. Like $425, obviously not cheap, mm-hmm. but for like a pretty big, like celebrity. I mean, you know, whatever. I don't know what you consider him because he's, he doesn't really do anything besides just host a really, really popular show. Yeah. But that still doesn't seem like that much money to get somebody to basically say whatever you want. <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? Like to be someone's puppet for 60 seconds. Yeah. Like I, I should I, charge $400. I would feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like I think you've done a few, haven't you? But like, you're like, this is not really worth it because I'm not getting paid very much. And people are wanting me to say some weird things. Yeah. 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 yeah I was on cameo for like two weeks and I was like, I don't want, I don't like yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not big enough. <laughs> yeah like maybe you I'm have only to like, a zero not double zero <laughs> i gotta get bigger anyway do they have like an option to like say no 
to like anything? Yeah, I think you can decline them. Okay. If you're uncomfortable with them or whatever. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. It'll probably be a couple weeks before the video's out, but a little inside scoop. And, yeah. No, uh, it's kind of fun. Honestly, I don't know. I haven't seen the video that you're actually going to make yet, but honestly, the I like the the knowledge of knowing that you did that cameo thing might be even funnier than the actual video you're going to make. That's kind of why I wanted to share. Like I'm maybe like, you do like a back, like back, you know, behind the scenes kind of thing of how we made this video and how we got Chris Harrison in on this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like, yeah, it's, it's funny that Trey is going to be talking to Chris Harrison, but they're going to be like, Oh cool. They figured out how to get Chris oh, Harrison. Cool. On here. He's like friends with Chris, but it's like, no, no, we had to like really yeah, they, like they FaceTimed him and he, he did this thing for us. Um, yeah. Anyway, that that's, People are going to love that if they're listening to this podcast. So Yeah, once you see behind the curtain. That's great, man. It'll be a little better. I love it. Love it. Uh, should we get to some voice memos? Please. Okay. Please. Yo, yo, J&B. It's uh, Clintonius here. Here we go. Just checking in, and I'm with the, uh, with the I'm Down Boys. Say hi, guys. <laughs> hey, what's hey, up? Hey, it's hey. Nick and Simeon and Ben. and uh, Say hi, Lachlan. This is Lachlan. Yeah. Oh, good job, Lachlan. Lachlan loves being here always. So, Jake, life of the party. You are coming to Traverse City. Location found. My basement is totally available. <laughs> finished basement. How's all my bad? all my siblings are at college. You can stay college. there. We'd love to have you. Um, On a lake. We, <laughs> you guys, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go hiking. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. With some snowshoes. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. Maybe go flying. I, I, I have. Oh. I have <laughs> Hopefully, by the time you leave, furniture, massive fire. Oh yeah, oh. big furniture fire. <laughs> furniture fire. So cornhole on the ice. Cornhole on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll that be the awesome. Midwest experience. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say like fly fishing, and then I think he just means flying. Flying. He says he's getting his pilot's license. Clint. <laughs> this guy. Cool. And he's got a basement. <laughs> and he lights his furniture on fire. Yeah, this I place feel sounds like, awesome. Yeah, whenever they first called, I think they mentioned something about like, like the lighting things on fire. But the more I learn about Traverse City, the more I'm like, this is a, like a tourist attraction place. Like, there's not many many places to surely just like light stuff on fire there. <laughs> you know, I thought they were from the country or something. I, but think, I don't think they are. That's why the tourists go. They want to see what's on fire. <laughs> oh, so that's a full on lazy boy. That's you awesome. Feel, do you feel like there's like one school, uh, like one college that's known for lighting couches on fire? <laughs> to me like for no. whatever reason west virginia like the university of west virginia i just think of like they like couches on fire all the time huh i didn't know if that was like a common stereotype or I, do, I don't know let me know five star review <laughs> if you've heard of that <laughs> light them up i know that jake paul lit like a couch and a bunch of stuff on fire in like his uh backyard pool in and west, west virginia? in west in uh, calabasas west virginia calabasas yeah. yeah 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 and got a bunch of big trouble so i don't know why do you get in trouble just I think because it might have because like the fire was like higher than his house. Really? It's like 25 feet in the air. It like reached some trees and. Yeah, I don't think it caused a forest fire, but it's just like a massive fire in like a residential oh, wow. neighborhood. Okay. A few years back. But uh, Clintonius. Well, okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Snowshoes sound cool. Snowshoes. <laughs> hiking. They're in college. Like, I love the way he says college. They're in college. Um, I think he was like, we got a basement. It's a finished basement. People, another thing about people in the South, they, they like to say drive safe. They also, at least my brother-in-laws think basements are like the coolest thing in the world because they don't have them in Texas very they often. They don't. And like, like even when we lived in houses that had unfinished basements, they would go down there and be like, oh, look at this. You can do so many things down here. You can have a TV down here. TV. I'm like, yeah. You have a speed bag over there. I'm thinking air hockey here. <laughs> maybe, maybe shuffleboard. If there's I room, I don't know. Let's get crazy on it. You know, if there's room, uh, like they just think basements are amazing. So, anyway, I love basements. I do too. They're fun. I mean, maybe December. Okay, maybe I'll go to Traverse City. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Yeah, it's an option. It's an honest, honest to goodness, Clint. It's an option. I love it. Okay, not saying no. Love it. Love it up. Yeah. Okay. Next one from. Let's go. Let's go, Zach. Sure. Hey guys, Zach Johnston here from down in Pittsburgh. First time caller. Down, Down is this time listening. I, that's um, maybe Pittsburgh, maybe Kansas. I have a couple I don't questions. Think so. First of all, I am a kind of like an aspiring comedian. I sent you guys a sketch actually about kind of it was a similar sketch to the bit you did a few weeks ago about hurricanes. You guys watched it and responded to that, or at least one of you guys did. I really appreciate your time on that. I think that was me. Um, I have a couple questions. It was good. One is, do you have any funny relationship or you know trying to impress girl story 
moments from, you know, when you were kind of in your earlier days, like high school. Um, and second, I have, you know, I, I do sketches and I'm kind of in the early stages of a podcast. I was wondering if you have any advice to me on that and kind of building a community through those. Thanks. Would you consider the early stage of a podcast just like learning how to talk to people like in real life? <laughs> like, <laughs> like what's ages, an early stage? <laughs> like from ages three to five, kind of getting the language. Yeah, right. Like learning how to form sentences. Um, you know, I learned the preterite tense recently. And so <laughs> really getting in there. That was when I kind of started my journey podcasting and just recently started recording them. <laughs> just kidding, man. Um, Those are both really good questions. Did we do anything to impress the lady folk? Go out of our way to, you know, do like a, like what birds and like reptiles do. Oh, like what not they literally, do? but you know, like they'll, they'll like do dances to, to mate. Oh, I've done, I've danced for girls all like, so I used to have a job dancing for girls. What was yeah. it called? Uh, I can't, I'd rather not say <laughs> Look, watch more out. Race her back. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I will say the reason I learned how to play guitar originally, have I told you this is no. to learn to, because I had a crush on a girl. And she said she had a crush on Sam Dwyer, one one of my good friends. He was the catcher. You know Sam Dwyer. He yeah. was a great catcher. He was the catcher to my pitcher. Uh, and <laughs> and he was he was a stud. He was a he was pitcher to no 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 not to Danielle. Um, <laughs> but Danielle says I like Sam Dwyer, and I say oh why do you like him or something like I don't know if I asked maybe she said I like Sam Dwyer because he plays guitar, and I'm like dang. I'll play a guitar. <laughs> I'll learn how to do that. That's all you want, baby. So yeah, me, Sam, and my friend Logan, we all learned how to play guitar. And that was why I, I tried to do that to impress her. I eventually did not like her anymore, but still like the I, guitar. I probably, I probably would have bagged her if I, if I liked her though, <laughs> I would have bagged that though. Um, <laughs> Captain's yeah, lucky. That's, that's like the ironic part of like, I learned how to play guitar to impress girls. And then I eventually like led worship and <laughs> it was like a very different uh, eventual uh, outcome with it. But I guess I tried to impress a girl that way. That's a good answer. Yeah. I th I really can't remember much stuff that I did. I'm sure I like, I wanted girls to like see that I was excelling in sports in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. like trying to get an idea like, oh, it's cool that you came to the game. Like, did you, did you watch? <laughs> did you see like that? No look pass at third quarter. Uh -huh. yeah, like yeah. Were you, how much were you paying attention? There was one girl that I remember trying to like, I had her locker combination memorized. I thought that would impress her. Her uh, locker combination? Like she told me it. It oh, wasn't okay. like I've been watching. Yeah. And yeah like, yeah. oh, now I can sneak in. <laughs> like you, like every time you see a different number, like 42. Okay. 42. Okay. One done. step closer. 16. Was that before or after 42? Okay. You know? So it's 42 blank 16 or 42 16 blank. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that didn't work. Um, I think I've talked about on the podcast before. Once upon a time, I wrote this girl an entire choose your own adventure book for our first date. Um, she is now gay. That didn't work out. She chose a different adventure. <laughs> she was a pitcher or the catcher? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. She chose a different adventure. Yeah, she chose the one without me. I will say you go, from what I know about your relationships, you go pretty pretty hard at the beginning. At least you have in the past for certain girls. And I it's I don't think it's a good quality. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think it's a bad quality. I think if the girl's not really into it, though, you'll learn quick, which is not the worst thing in the world. It's not. And I think that's you know, probably subconsciously why. Maybe why you do it. Yeah. I'd rather like fast forward a bit. Like, I don't remember the specifics of this, but I remember you went on like some kind of Skype date. I don't know. It was like probably two years ago. Do you remember this? Like it was like some like very fun themed date with this girl. Oh yeah. Morgan Lou. Yeah. 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 That was a, that was a while back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah She's yeah. married now. Well. Different adventure. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> but, but it was like, it was like kind of a fun, like ex not extreme thing, but like it was, it was very creative, very out there. Like yeah. not, not just like a, Hey, let's get together on Skype and talk. Like it was like, no, let's do this really fun thing that I've really thought about and been creative about. I found a, uh, who wants to be a millionaire PowerPoint template online. Okay. <laughs> I downloaded that and then made my own game, but it was for like, get to know you questions. See dude, like that freaking, like that fires me up because someday you're going to find the right girl and she's going to love that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like. Yes. Like whatever. Like the million dollar question was tough. Really? But she got lifelines. Okay. <laughs> she like called my friend. See, that's awesome. That's <laughs> it was so sweet. fun. Yeah. It was sweet. Oh, that's great. I love that. Yeah. Didn't work out. Yeah. Well, she save was pretty the, save cool that though. Template. Save that template. One other thing that she did, got to give her props and anyone else for free to use this too in a long distance relationship. So she, she was super down. She loved the first one. She's like, all right, next one I get to plan it. Yeah. So she sends me some stuff in the mail that comes a few days before our next Skype date. And she's like, don't open it until like it's time to Skype. 
So it was masks, <laughs> leggings, and a racerback. <laughs> She's like, go ahead. Go ahead. Try it on. Just see what you think. Show, you, show your bra. Show Let's see your that bra. Georgia peach. Let's see that Georgia peach. <laughs> and it was like all these different things for uh, to compete with each other in minute to win it games. So oh, it was like I a love pedometer that. that you could like put on your head and you do like this game <laughs> to see how many like steps you get with your head and neck. Yeah. There was, uh, I don't even remember the other they stuff. They do the cookie game where you're like, you have to move your mouth. Yeah, that was probably one. Anything yeah. that you can do like yeah. virtually. That's hilarious. So it was pretty fun. Uh, only got through <laughs> two of them, but from what I remember, but yeah, it was great. Yeah, that's great, man. I uh, I don't know how we started talking about that. Um, Zach Johnston. Oh yeah. Impressing girls. Impressing girls. Yeah. Oh, okay. So his other question was growing a community comedy Dude, podcast you need to answer that i feel like you I have <laughs> well but i just i feel like ever since i've known you you've always had a really strong community like even when you only had like whatever 3000 followers it was like you had 3000 followers but a you know 1700 people would like your post or whatever i'm like everyone that follows jake really cares about what they're like what jake's posting so how do you do that jake besides just being genuine i feel like that's honestly the formula I would it's say hard for people to do and still try to, you know, be intentionally growing. I don't know. I mean, nothing else that I'm about to say has been strategic. I'll tell you what I've done and maybe that helps. But I think in the early stages, that's, maybe I mean, that's part of it is like you can't be that strategic. Just do your thing. Just yeah. do whatever comes natural. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's all I did. I was starting to grow a following a little like years ago just because I kept working at Canacuck and just like every summer I'd get an extra 500 yeah. new people but each one of those 500 people had met me in person and then once they saw Instagram Jake they're like oh this is like the Instagram version is just as fun it's what I expected and I think I had like a good like I retained followers well yeah because I I was still myself but still fun um I don't know I think Instagram is like People love to be entertained. If you're doing even something somewhat out of the ordinary, it's like, this sure. is cool. This yeah. is fun. Whatever. Totally. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I think I'm just like, I've never played a character either. You know, this is probably why my Instagram's not bigger than it is. I've always just like, this is my life. This is what I'm doing. Which is what you're good at, though. I don't think you're as good, honestly, about the character stuff. Yeah. I've I don't never, think that's your strong suit. Like, I've never done that. Any yeah. other thing. So maybe that's why it's also like a stronger community because it's people feel like they're getting me. They're not getting like a version of me. That's for the, like an internet version of me. Well, that's, what's so insane is like every time you go to Phoenix, you'll be like, yeah, I stay with this person or like this person that I don't really know, like said like, Hey, let's get together. And I'm like, I don't think anybody would ever say that. Like, like I was in Waco last two weekends ago and like no one, like I'm sure there were other Texan people that listen to the podcast <laughs> or whatever, but, but you probably heard me on the, uh, on the podcast last time. I was like, you say the Airbnb. Yeah. It just like shocked me that you didn't like crash with someone because that's all I've done <laughs> yeah, for right, eight years. Right. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, it's just so crazy that people are like, yeah, come stay with me. I've met you once, you know, yeah. but I'm so comfortable with you. Like, so maybe that's part of it. Zach. Zach. Last thing I'll I say about an podcast community is Brad and I didn't ever talk about this strategically, but we're just doing it. Don't be afraid to like build on your inside jokes. I think that helps build a community. Yeah. Because typically my, like, if I was to be strategic, it'd be like, don't use inside jokes. That way no one feels ostracized their very first episode in. If their first right. episode 78, then they right. don't know previous things we're talking about. But I think it's accidentally worked to our favor because one, people want to go back and listen. What are these talk guys talking about? What are they referencing? Yeah. And two, it is like it builds depth. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really cool. It's almost like we have like seasons of our podcast. <laughs> like, oh, we didn't, introduce, we didn't introduce Scott until season three, you know, like whatever, <laughs> you know, oh, you remember Domi? She was season one, but every once in a while we still talk about her, you know, that is true. Like you know the characters I mean? definitely have seasons. Very Parks and Rec. That's what Parks and Rec kind of did too. You know, and we're, we're, we're like the Parks and Rec podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, that's good. Yeah. I think we're, yeah, we're, we're about to be in like the Harrison season, maybe. I think we could be. I think it's Harrison season. Don't tell Mr. James. <laughs> J-Bone? <laughs> yeah, don't tell J-Bone. Um, really good question, Zach. I hope we somewhat decently answered it well. Oh, we did great. Oh, we did. Yeah. Hey, Jake and Brad. This is Angela coming at you from Heston, Kansas. Let's and go, I was Heston, Kansas. introduced to your podcast by my friends Courtney, Connor, and Logan. So shout out to them because I know they're listening to this episode. But I'm shout actually out. sort of talking to you guys from the past because I started listening to you guys around June of this year. But I wanted to start at the very beginning of your episode so I didn't miss anything. Um, I'm currently on episode 61, so I'm slowly getting caught up. But my random question for you guys is what is your most bizarre situation or encounter you've had? Maybe just with like another person well, or just situationally. But anyways, thanks so much for making me laugh and spreading so much positivity. Bye-bye. 
Angela, thank you for the question. Okay, Brad just pulled up the Heston, Heston Kansas mascot. mascot. Yeah. Okay. What do you think that was? It looks like maybe like a 1970s logo for the Cleveland Indians. <laughs> that's fair. Is that, that, that close? That looks like it's not uh, close to what it actually is, but that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, this is like a country thing, like so maybe you understand. Do you know what a swather is? No. I think it's like some kind of uh, farm vehicle that they, but I think Heston is like known for making swathers. And so their, their mascot is the Heston swathers. Huh? Fun fact about Heston, Kansas for you. <laughs> the the Zerker, Zerker's uh, grandparents live in Swa- uh, Heston. Or do they? Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Anyway, Heston. Shout out Ray. Uh, <laughs> Angela, something bizarre. 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 I, oh, I don't know. I just need to write down things like this. You need to have all your bizarre things ready to go. I have, yeah. I need to have a bizarre note. <laughs> Anything coming to mind? No, I don't know. I've got a series of coinky dinks that I could talk about. Love it. Just, well, maybe I should save them next time someone asks me for something bizarre. I don't know. I'll just do one. <laughs> I'll just do one for now. Um, the way you said bizarre right there was great. Bizarre. Bizarre. <laughs> okay. Um, once upon a time, mm-hmm. I'm in a cross country road trip in a limousine. Maybe I've mentioned it before. Okay. Uh, <laughs> In a limousine, is that what you said? Limousine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Limo for short. Oh, okay. I We find ourselves in Las Vegas uh, for like a, a night or two. And we always did a somewhat decent job of like Instagram story. Hey, we're in this city tonight. If you're with us, come out, come hang, whatever. Yeah. And some people joined up with us that night, kind of. Uh, I think we told them like which casino we were at. And they joined up with us. But I had a friend visiting me that weekend. Ty and Kyle had a friend visiting them. So we were already running five deep. And then I found an Ellen DeGeneres slot machine that I was like really keyed in on. Like I was the main one playing that and I was winning money. You were riding the pony. I was riding the pony. Yeah, yeah. And so I wasn't talking that much to our, our other guests. Didn't really remember who was there. Fun night though. Great night in Vegas. Won some money from Ellen. Appreciate it. Let's go. Five months later, I go on a little vacation. Grant Huterberg, Queenstown, get on your feet. That's oh, where yeah. the, that phrase came from in that yeah. video. And, uh, or yeah, I guess I was New Zealand, but specifically a week before that I was in Australia. And, Quite literally, I, I run in to someone on the street. She goes, hey, no way. What are you doing here? I'm like, hey, do I know you? She goes, do you remember me? I was in Las Vegas with you and the limo guys like last year or whatever. I was like, no way. I was like, that, you were like one of those. It was like you and your sister, right? She's like, yes, that was me and my sister. What? And I'm like, what? And I'm like, what are you doing here? And she's like, I live here now. I'm like, oh, but you're from Las Vegas? No, from Oklahoma. Like, so you were randomly in Las Vegas the same weekend as we are. And now you're in Sydney the same time I am. And we just were on the same street at the same time. It was awesome. And that you should have had a uh, creative date with that girl. (laughs) We, uh, Gray and I ended up staying in her apartment like a few, like the last night of the trip. Woke up, had like a little sunrise hike and beach. And, uh, no snowshoes. No no snowshoes. No snowshoes. So it was, that was bizarre. That was bizarre, Angela. What a bizarro. Whoa. Whoa, it was a bizarre. Oh, that's bizarre. <laughs> I like that. Oh, <laughs> that's bizarre. <laughs> that's perfect. Like this. That's, that's weird. That's, that's bizarre. Now that is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just one of three bizarre stories that you will get at a later date. Love it. Just throw them in there. And that's bizarre where it gets stories. more bizarre, but that's, you only get the first part of the bizarre. I can't tell you my plan. <laughs> I can't tell you I'll my tell plan. You one, one part of the bizarre plan. In March, you get the other part of the plan. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. If you know the office references from the time where they were trying to pick a new manager, you know. I was also talking about the March thing. Like, if you know, Brad, you know. Oh, you I know. Because t- that's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Same you. girl. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Bizarre, dude. Bizarre. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now that's bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your bizarre? Oh, I have nothing. I have I don't know. Nothing? Nothing. I can't think of th- something like that you've off the top done, of my you've head. You've been to parties? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a new inside joke for sure, huh? You should last explain night, it. Yeah. Last night we went to uh, Culver's, uh, get some ice cream and some food after the basketball game. two liters of root beer. <laughs> okay, explain that. <laughs> no, no, sorry. I had the bizarre story. You take the Culver story. <laughs> their, their carbonator was out on their uh, drinks, and so they went and got Jake and Isaac two liters, and I, I partaked. Partook. Partook. Um, anyway, while we were there, this is like such a random, small inside joke. <laughs> it was uh, so funny at the time. I don't even remember how exactly. Was it Harrison that was talking? Harrison was talking about a certain type of cup. 
Is that what he, oh, he's like, you know, oh, because we're talking about two liters. Okay. We we're talking about two liters and how they're not nearly as good as cans and fountains and everything else. And he's like, you know, like you go to a party and, and I like stopped him like quickly. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been, I've been to a party. I've been to a party. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all. Oh, we kind of went on with it. Yeah, I, I, was I, like, I was like, no, he's been to parties. No, no, and uh, I whispered to her, I've actually never seen him at a party. <laughs> he's probably been to a party. I think he's been to one, though. I think he, I'm sure I mean, he's. It's a party, <laughs> right? Like, we think Brad's been to a party. I'm sure he's been to a party. Yeah. <laughs> guy was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Probably. You would, you would think that he's been to a party. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. I don't All right, know. Anyway, you've been to parties. Nothing bizarre. Nothing though. bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I'm sure I'm so bad at racking my like quickly remembering stuff like that because I've I've had so many experiences. Not as many as you, but still many. You know, so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I'll just, bizarre. I'll just make that my funny thing about that voicemail. <laughs> That's how you say bizarre. Oh, bizarre. Uh, That's good. Do you see this text that we just got from James? No. He said tonight I had someone ask for me in the drive-through. I went over and did not recognize the people, so I anticipated a complaint. Randy, a female, says hello. Loves the show. <laughs> Keep up the good work, you stud muffins. Let's go, Chavo. That's awesome. Randy. Just go to Chick-fil-A and the next just be like, hey, are Randy or Harrison working today? Not Randy. <laughs> Don't ask for Randy. Are J-Bone or Harrison working today, Mr. <laughs> James? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, keep doing that. Chick-fil-A or, Alexa. Or just go up like with your watch on you and you like get your food and you go, hmm, not bad. 519 for an eight stack. Huh. Not bad. Not, pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not chopping because that was that was bizarre. That was bizarro. That was bizarre what I saw there. It's bizarre. Um, okay, thanks for all the, the voice memos. And there's still more. But thanks for all the ones up to this point. <laughs> Hi, Jake and Brad. My name is Jessica. I'm from Tennessee. Jessica. I came to you guys from listening to correct opinions and have been listening for a while first time caller though thanks for the laughs you guys are awesome welcome you're welcome anyways um so long story short i am a waitress at a pretty popular restaurant in columbia tennessee oh and nice and no, uh, how nice how I nice on some country music stars that come into the restaurant one in particular that comes in often is um, billy ray cyrus so the last time that he was in Billy Ray. I waited on him and I kept making puns when I waited on him, but I kept trying to like slip them in to my conversation with him like inconspicuously, but he comes in often enough and I need more puns, guys. <laughs> I need more masters, puns. So help me out. Bye-bye. What a situation to find yourself in. <laughs> I keep seeing Billy Ray Cyrus, but I ran out of puns to say to him. Well, I've God. already I've already addressed this once, haven't we? We've already talked about Billy Ray Cyrus puns uh, back in like back in like season one. I I may have edited we that part out. Oh, okay, we we, we edited that. Okay. I think I edited it out. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time someone asked me about puns for Billy Ray Cyrus, gosh, and just write a book at this point. What do we know about Billy Ray besides the fact that he is Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus's dad? Both? No, no, I don't know. You what? get the best of both worlds. I don't know. Does that come for the dad? <laughs> I don't know. I fun fact, true story. It's here's the real thing. This is a nonfiction story. Never seen it. You want to keep going? Yeah. No, I uh I, I saw Billy Ray Cyrus at a diner in LA one time. Did you? No puns. No words. Not even really eye contact. He's a double name though. You could have been like, hey, you got a middle name? Hey. Hey. What's your monogram look like? Hey, Mary Claire says hi. You got clairvoyance? Or I mean, <laughs> I mean sweet Billy, baby Ray's yeah. barbecue. <laughs> sweet Billy Ray. Uh, <laughs> oh crap. Crap. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Whoa, this is bizarre, huh? <laughs> Whoa. How are you getting out of here? Taking that old town road? <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, here's what I know about Billy Ray Cyrus. Old town road, achy breaky heart. That's it. So we could either make two puns about that, or we could dive a little deeper and just make Miley Cyrus puns. Yeah. Because surely he knows all her songs. Yes. I think he did a lot for her. Like, uh, oh, like, like, uh, oh, this is, this is like, oh, what's her name? The girl, the waitress? Uh, Jessica. Jessica delivers uh, the food to Billy Ray. And he says, oh, this looks great. And she goes, ah, oh, bellissimo. And he goes, what did you say, sweetheart? And she goes, oh, sorry. You say purdy in the USA. <laughs> or party. Yeah, yeah. You say party in the USA. <laughs> nice. What do you think? <laughs> Pretty good? I mean, he'll for sure get that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll definitely get it. That's yeah. good. Um, you got foliage. You got foliage outside. Safe um, word. 
Yeah. And, uh, he's like, Oh, that, that, that tree's looking nice, but the leaves are falling. Um, it's like, yeah, yeah, we, 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 uh, we use some utensils and got that, you know, all those leaves kind of, um, just joined. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, we, we like, we, we, gathered all those, we gathered all those leaves together. Oh yeah. We used a raking ball. We got under- <laughs> <laughs> a raking ball. Stupid. Ah, your turn, please. Uh, puns are, I don't really think about Billy Ray Cyrus. Puns uh, are hard. I would just, uh, go back to, oh, your disc is almost full. Dang it. You can say that to Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> your disc- he has that song. Your disc is, is almost, almost full. full. Uh, oh, uh, royalties. We're going to. Oh, lose. crap. Uh, mute uh, it. Mute it on YouTube. You could, he could be like, you like, or, oh, go ahead. Like, I, I imagine, uh, yeah, you're, she's a waitress, right? That's what Yeska said. Yes. Uh, it's a busy night. She, she's a little slow getting Billy Ray's food. He's like, oh, what took you so long? And she goes, it ain't about how fast I get there. Huh? And then like finger guns. Is that a Billy Ray? It's from The Climb. It's a oh, pretty, pretty big line. Oh, okay. Not about how fast I get there. Oh, okay, okay. Just The Climb. Or just in general, maybe it's a two-story restaurant. Sorry, The Climb up here is just tough. Sorry, yeah. It's always going to be an uphill battle. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, uh, uh, it's definitely finger guns. Um, yeah, you could be like, uh, you'd be like, no, uh, is the shrimp here good or is the steak better? You're like, you can get the surf or turf. Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Achy breaky heart. Achy breaky. He's like, should I get the grits or should I get the salmon? Well, I mean, grits are going to taste better, but might give you a little bit of that <laughs> acid, acid reflux. We, we, it's called the achy breaky heart. <laughs> <laughs> now, can I get those? I, I'd like the spinach artichoke pasta, but can I get those artichokes just kind of cut up real nice and small? Yeah, sure. We can get you some achy breaky art jokes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can break you those up for you. We can break you those up, no problem. Break you those art jokes. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, no, uh, it's about as far as I get. The climb, we could think about something with the uh, wrecking ball. We can't stop. Oh. Oh, what if what if she's like, uh, you know, do you want some Parmesan cheese <laughs> tell on me there? When, yeah. yeah, tell me when. Uh, go ahead and stop. Stop. <laughs> we can't we stop. We can't stop, Billy Ray. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> She's like, do you get the pun? He's like, yeah, but you're ruining my food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there you go, Jessica. Hopefully that's enough. You'll love it. Billy Ray, double name. He'll love that too. He'll love it. He'll love it. Ask him about his monogram. Hey, Brad and Jake. This is Karen from Washington State. Oh, and yes, Jeez I'm whiz. a millennial named Karen. It's a whole thing. It's all right. Good audio, though, on Sucks Karen. Sucks to be me. Yeah. Good, um, good job I have on a that. question for you guys regarding Just Drinks. Oh! This yeah. is going to sound like one of those super annoying questions. <laughs> like, well, is a hot dog it. a sandwich? But I promise you it's it's good, um, but it borders on that. So I apologize in advance. <laughs> it for it Just Drinks it. <laughs> in the summertime, are you serving snow cones? Thoughts. On God bless. Th- on three? Ready? One, two, two three. Two. No. No. You were going to say sure. <laughs> Jake. I'm a little thrown off by a number of things just now. I don't see how that question is anything close to his hot dog a sandwich. Because is a snow cone a drink? Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm with you. I was expecting like a, like a, a riddle. Okay, let's practice. Are we going to serve hot dogs on three? One, two, three. Heck no. no. Heck no. Should have said no. That's okay. We're just gonna go yes or no. Okay. 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 Try, no, try actually, it again. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's do. Let's do either. Uh, absolutely. Yes, we would. No doubt. Or. Or. <laughs> no, no way, way, Jose. No way. That would be bizarre to do that at just drinks. Ready? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. No <laughs> way. <laughs> that would be bizarre to do at just drinks. I didn't hear the question. I didn't know what my oh, options. Hot were. dogs. One, two, three. No, no way, way. That, that would be bizarre, bizarre to do at just drinks. <laughs> See. That's okay, good. I got it now. Okay, so snow cones. But we have cherry limeade? One, One two, two, three. Heck uh, yes, uh, that was of so, course. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're going to do uh, snow cones on three. Ready? One, two, three. Heck no. no. That, that would, would be, be crazy. Bizarre. Just, just drinks and bizarre. Just drinks. Yeah. The, the more I've thought about it, of course we're not going to. That's not a drink. Anything you can't drink through a straw? Straws only. Keyword can't drink. Look at the t-shirt, guys. Look at the logo. There's a straw there. The straw. Just drinks. Justin, put the merch right in now. And now. Just drinks. Just drinks. One more time. <laughs> and just drinks. And now, dab, hey. dab them up and just drinks. <laughs> and I wipe it away. 
Now take it away and one more time. Uh, just drinks. <laughs> That's gonna be great on you. Just drinks. <laughs> uh, let me let me throw it up to you. Boom. Boom. Just yeah, just drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Way up there. Oh here. Uh, up top of the top right screen, part of the screen, and <laughs> just drinks. <laughs> oh, Brad, we got a little bump for you. Bump set and uh oh, spiked oh, up oh, just drinks. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be great for the visuals. <laughs> the audio is gonna be like I don't know about this. I don't know guys. what's happening there. I don't okay. get the inside jokes. This is my first episode, but that's okay because we're gonna have depth. Karen, Season five. Karen with the good audio wants to know if we're doing uh, what is snow cones? I no way. Say no way. Up. No way. Sorry. Extra machines. That's gonna take us longer. Like. We're, we're all about efficiency at just drinks in and out. That's why you come to us instead of McDonald's. Yeah. Cause you can get a drink fast. All right, absolutely. And so a snow cone, like if you were run out of ice, you got it. Sorry. Can you pull ahead? Our snow cone machine yeah. going a little slow. We are not going to be the pull ahead people. You never have to pull ahead. Never. Have to, that's, that's our motto. Never, never, have pull, to pull never, ahead. Run, never run. It's just drinks. Never have to pull ahead. Yeah. We yeah. don't, uh, we, you don't pull ahead. You let us pull, yeah. a, pull ahead from the competition. We, <laughs> we that's will, the business plan. we will push towards profits while pull. making sure you never have to pull ahead. Pull ahead. Mar Absolutely. Mar Mariah Carey. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's just drinks. Um, yeah, because I think anytime, if people are going to a place called Just Drinks and they're like, I got to pull ahead, what could, what could possibly be going on in there? What's go is the carbonator out and they have to go get two liters? That's the only <laughs> thing I can think of. Bailey, shift manager. <laughs> yeah. Is she working? Shout out Culver's Bailey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she might listen. <laughs> There's another funny story about Bailey <laughs> last night. Are we talking about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Golly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I order first. Yeah. You go ahead. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and then Gunnar and I go up there, um, and we decide we're going to split. Uh, well. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, good, this, good is, this is this yeah. is classic Gunner shooting your shot. Make sure you guys shoot your shots. Uh, Gunner was like, "Hey, I know that." Like he's like, "You know those uh, buy one get one free concrete coupons?" And she's like, "Yeah, I know what those are." He's like, "Do you guys have any here?" Like usually they send them out in the mail. Like you don't just give them out and then people just, okay, I'll use that. She's like, uh, no, we don't have any here. And Gunner goes, well, like, could you just give it to us? And she goes, yeah, I could do that. And we're like, sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so Brad told me that story and I'm like, no way. I was like, eyebrows did that. <laughs> and he goes, who? I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, did you go to the same one I did? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, eyebrows. I had no idea. I did not notice her eyebrows. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so then she brings a few people their meals, mm -hmm. comes back or leaves again. Brad and gets a little better look at her. Yeah, I, I checked out her eyebrows. I checked out her eyebrows. I browsed, I browsed the eyebrows. Song of Solomon says that's okay. Yeah, I, they, I mean, it calls it like the trumpet's horn, but it's talking about the eyebrows. Oh, I thought it was the um, bassoon's beak. <laughs> oh, that's something different. <laughs> that's some way different. Sorry, personification. It was, it, it was in the second scene of Borat. They show a bassoon's <laughs> beak. It's like whoa, the bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Um. So anyway, she came, so she brought her food, went back, and I was like, okay, I saw her eyebrows, and they actually look, and then like right as I say that I see her out of the corner of my eye, she's coming back again with some ice cream. She's really close. And I go, really good? <laughs> <laughs> Which I was going to, I promise I was going to say that anyway, because we talked about how some girls like make their eyebrows at the very end, like they just, whatever, they draw them on or whatever, it does not look good. This girl, yeah, she had manicured eyebrows. It's probably not the right word, but she had nice eyebrows, but they weren't like too, they weren't too thin on the sides. And when someone's wearing a mask, all I really have is your eyebrows. True. That's all I really know about you. That's what they, that's what they say. Yeah. So, but anyway, it was she very, definitely hurt. Very uncomfortable because no matter what I was, I would have had to say they look good at that point. Oh yeah. Her eyebrows, they're really good. <laughs> really good. Thank you for my ice cream. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a free ice cream. I go to parties. I I swear I've been to a party with people who have eyebrows. <laughs> so, no snow cones. No snow cones. Go get those at somewhere else's place. Just snow cones. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, this is actually funny. Uh, I was showing Catherine this week uh, some different ideas for logos for Just Drinks. Mm -hmm. And there was one where it was like a picture of three different kinds of cups. There was a milkshake, like classic like milkshake glass cup. And then there was a coffee cup and there was a soda cup. And she goes... Well, I don't think we should use that one because you are you said you weren't going to serve coffee at this place. Like she was like actually thinking huh. this is a real place that you're she's going like, to eventually open up. <laughs> Brad, I mean, that just makes no sense. Yeah. I mean, like, that's just silly. That's just ridiculous to put that on the shirt. <laughs> like I laughed at her. I was like, this is a fake business. <laughs> she's like, but you said you weren't going to serve coffee because she like had this idea. She's like, 
that'd be awesome. You could have all these different kinds of coffee. And I was like, no, that would take too long. We're not doing coffee. Let's just drink. Uh, <laughs> and so she's like, actually, I've been thinking about it. I don't think you guys should do coffee anymore. I've been like thinking she, about it. She did like a couple days later. I like, talked with some of the women in my BSF group. We <laughs> yeah. think no coffee. We, I put it on the prayer request list on, for the week. And yeah, they came back and said, no coffee. Diane got back to me. We're, uh-huh. we're with you. It's yeah. a good call to go. No coffee. Yeah. I mean, it's really popular in Utah and they're Mormon. They don't even drink caffeine. So no coffee for them. No coffee for us. So. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, boom. Use my little kid voice. Okay. Uh, from here, is it time? One, two, three. It's, it's show time. time. Yes. It's we time. did not plan that. That was wonderful. That was not it. Let's, not Absolutely, we did not plan that. <laughs> that, that, that that's came out of no, nowhere. nowhere. So, what are we doing now? Uh, Brad, would you like to end this episode with a jingle? Yeah. Yeah. No reviews? Um, I can never remember the order. Episode 78. I still don't really know. We, we go hit him with the jingle, jingle at the end. Hit okay. The okay, 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 okay. Um, it's okay. I mean, let's talk about our review of the week. Okay. Okay. Uh, which one is mine? I, you know, what? I'm going to go with the one that says, Jake, you idiot. You are? That one's so mean to you. I didn't like that one, Bodorn. Go ahead. I just felt bad for you, Jake. Oh, it's okay. Okay, good. My, my skin is... Of medium depth. Yeah. You got that alligator dick, skin. <laughs> Jake, you idiot. <laughs> I love the way you just said that with <laughs> such disdain. I say you forget the Bachelorette and try out for Survivor. I would pay to watch you on that show. In all honesty, though, you probably wouldn't win, but that's okay, buddy. Buddy? This guy. Come on. Seriously, though, I love the podcast. Make my every Monday. So he says seriously, though, so I think he was just joking. Seriously, though. You probably wouldn't win, but that's okay, buddy. <laughs> seriously, though. So it's just it was all a joke up until that point. In all honesty, though. Honestly. He did, he did say that at the beginning. In all honesty, though, you probably wouldn't win. Seriously, though. <laughs> so he, he so got, he got honest it? halfway through, and then at the very end, he got serious. So, yeah, that's tough. Good job, Bodron. Uh, Quick fun fact about Survivor. So, Ty, Gatewood, another thing we didn't talk about on the podcast. This week, he was supposed to find out if he was getting on Survivor or not. Like, that's how close he was. Like, he has, like, a, Seriously? a casting producer assigned to him that, like, calls him and updates him on the process. And he was supposed to hear back Tuesday and never did. And so he's, like, followed up each day. They're but, not even getting back to him. Yeah, I haven't got back to him. But he, he was, like... Maybe he's, like, an alternate or something, though. Yeah, like, I really think... Ty's not the type to really talk about this unless, like, it was probably, like... Right. He was probably told it was pretty close to happening. He oh, that was so very cool. good job on there, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean... I don't know how he'd do without Cheese Whiz, but oh, he would be so entertaining on that show. This is going to sound weird, but I feel like he's got like the perfect body type for a survivor. He is. You know, like he's like like skinny, sm- but not like so fit skinny. No, it's like smooth. Yeah. 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 Very good. It's like not anti-skid. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of anti-skid. Show, show your yeah. bra off. All right. My uh, review of the week comes from Emily Core. It says a podcast that will make you look forward to Monday mornings. I love this podcast. I look forward to Monday mornings now. Who does that? And listen to the podcast on my early morning runs. Currently in the process of convincing my husband and siblings to listen to it. My tactic has been dropping these inside jokes in my conversations with them before telling them, oh, you won't get that until you listen to the Ghost Runners podcast. So the new merch is not bad. Comfort Color is a stellar choice. Thank you. Also, uh, Comfort Wash is very nice. Um, oh, yeah. I added that part in. <laughs> I would love to rep the podcast even more with a Just Drink shirt. Oh, hint, hint. Hint, hint, hint. We are doing hint, those. Hint, hint. Yeah. You guys rock. All right. Best get going now. I love it. Let's Emily rock. Core, thank you. That was that was awesome. You don't think it's Emily Coring, do you? Uh, she has a husband, and so I don't think so. Probably not. But I, that was my first thought: was we ha- we are good friends with the Emily Core Ing. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, Brad, would you like to hit him with a jingle to end it? Oh, uh, yeah. This one's got potential. I need to pull it up. Sorry, just a second. Here okay. It is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Or whenever you uh, go, yeah, oh. it, it starts out really hot. Uh, can you give me a pitch? Okay, <clears throat> just a second. Get the hood up. Uh oh, put your hood up, player. <laughs> I had a friend that was his I am uh screen name. Put your hood up, player. Oh, that sounds like Gunner, <laughs> was a very Gunner kind of guy. All right, ready? <clears throat> Working tables in the garage. <laughs> Oh, it was his birthday two days ago. Happy birthday, Ike. Happy birthday. You're our favorite 20-year-old that we know. 
That's true. That's true. It's true. That's true. Gosh, I missed my first line. So stupid. You want to sell it? You want to do it now? Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Give me that room, room mate. Nailed it. Okay. Oh, made totally made up for it. We'll fix it in post. Fix it in post for sure. Um, Brad, any final thoughts? Nope. Okay. I don't think so. My final thoughts I've are been watching workaholics. Okay. Final thought. Watching workaholics. Never watched it before. You ever watched it? No. You would like it. Okay. I believe you. And I think it's, I, it kind of motivated me, Jake. I think we should make a TV show. Okay. <laughs> That's not really a great final thought because it's kind of a deep one or a big one. But well, like I think the, we should make more videos together in general. Just in general. Yeah. Just drinks. Just generals. generals. Just in generals. <laughs> just generals. <laughs> just generals. <laughs> and then have a picture of generals on it. Like Trey um, and I did that. I don't know if you saw like that reaction video. I didn't watch it. That's fine. Okay. I, I think I'm decent at that kind of stuff and i think okay. you would be even better and really? together we would be very good at like reacting to stuff and like quickly making let's comments it. about it let's try it sometime yeah after this right now okay right. during the podcast Cut. um no like the the very first season like they it's these it's about these three guys that work in the same office together and they live together they're like three best friends and um the very first season like the house that they live in is literally the house that they actually lived in like oh cool yeah it's like it's like and they're all they're all like named like their characters names or their, their actual names in oh, real life good for these guys and this so it's is like cool. it's like and they they got popular by just making youtube videos they're like some of the first youtube sketch people okay and then comedy central picked it up and yeah they kind of got big from there okay, cool but it's really interesting it's not the most appropriate show in the world but we've already endorsed borat so let's endorse <laughs> <laughs> let's endorse some inappropriate shows but it's on comedy central so it's not that bad um but yeah it was really it's funny so what kind of videos do you want to, or what kind of tv show do you want to make with me Maybe just that. Like maybe we should just live together in the same house okay. and work uh, all. <laughs> yeah, call ourselves the Ghost Runners. Ghost Ghost Runner Holics. We we'll call ourselves the uh, the Aristocats. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Anyway. My final thoughts are: just drinks merch. Go Please. get it now. Last week for fall merch. Yeah. Um, it's not even close to the last week where you can sign up to be a patron, but you should look into it anyway. Yeah, it's fun. Brad and I were just talking about uh, the gifts. That we're going to be uh, potentially getting our fifteen dollars patrons come Christmas time. Yeah, so there's a little incentive there. Yeah, and I think those are all my final thoughts. Great, thanks for listening, guys. We always appreciate it. Always genuinely, appreciate it. Genuinely, really, Gen- really appreciate Gen- it. Hey, just just generally, just genuine. Appreciate just it. Appreciates. Hey, go have a go have a crazy week. Go have a bizarre week. <laughs> that week was bizarre. That was bizarre. <laughs> all right, bye bye. <laughs>